In this video, we'll show you a Git workflow that I've been using for many years in different projects. Uh, even when I have joined teams that already have a particular Git workflow, uh, they use something very similar. Um, I think this is probably one of the most pop popular Git workflows out there. Um, this workflow is based on, on the post you are seeing on the screen right now. and uh, It's a top three result in Google for Git workflow. So if you know the basics of Git, uh, you probably have created some repos for your personal projects and you know how to commit and push your code changes to GitHub, but you haven't worked in, in yet in a project with other developers making changes to the same code base and deploying uh, to different environments, then this video is for you. If you're trying to figure out uh, a workflow for your team, this video, this video is probably also for you, or if you already have a workflow in your team, but you're curious about other, pe other, other people's workflows, then I guess you can still get something from this video. In the repo, there should always be at least two branches, master and develop. The master branch is where you will have all the code that is ready for production, and you should never include a work in progress code. The develop branch is where uh, is, is, is branch of master and is where developers will put all the latest development changes. When you are ready to release code to production, for example, at the end of uh, a sprint, if you use the agile framework, then the code uh, from the develop branch should be merged back into the master branch. So now let's create a new repo on GitHub. Uh, let's call this test website. Let's initialize with the readme. So now we can clone this repo here. Let's see the into it. And we can see here uh, we have a master branch, a local master branch. We can type git branch and we can see the master branch. And if we want to see the remote, it's this one. So uh, we have one of our main branches. Let's create the other ones, which is develop with the command git um, checkout dash b develop. So this that this command will create a branch of master and will be called develop. So this branch is still in just in our local repository, as we can see here. So we need to push that branch to the to the remote repo. So let's type git push dash u uh, origin develop. So what the what this command will do is to push the develop branch to the origin repo, which is the remote repo, and this option here will basically link the, the local branch to the remote branch. So the next time we git push or git pull, we don't have to specify origin. It will be just like something like this: git push only or git pull. And if we check on GitHub, if we refresh this this page here, we should see the new branch develop. But we need another uh, group of branches called supporting branches. Uh, supporting branches are temporal branches that will help you with the day-to-day -day workflow. For example, to, to work on a new feature or fix, um, to release code to production, and to, for example, fix a bug in you found in production. There are three types of supporting branches, uh, feature branches, release branches, and hotfix branches. Feature branches are used to develop new features in the project. Uh, you should always create a feature branch when you know a feature will take some time uh, to develop. 
but sometimes it's okay to work directly in the develop branch if you are just working on a quick fix. Uh, feature branches will usually live and die in your local environment, but uh, you can push feature branches to GitHub if you have, for example, uh, to if you need to create a pull request uh, so someone else in your team can review and merge your changes back to develop. Or if you want to deploy a, a, your feature branch to a dev server, for example. So let's say uh, I got a new feature to work on. I should create a new branch. Let's run, type this command, git checkout dash b. And I can call this new feature branch like this feature dash uh, usually you probably want to add uh, some kind of ID here for, uh, let's say you have, you use, for example, um, a project manager to like Trello or Jira or, or even GitHub, um, you have the ID, you can put that here. And if you want, you can also add some kind of description here of the feature. So it's like something like this. But I think I prefer to just use the this convention, just the feature, or this can also be something like ticket or task or anything like that. But let's do let's use this convention for now. Uh, let's say I want to change the readme here. So here we can add some new title and save and if we type git status we can see that we have a modified file here so let's commit that change read me so let's say uh, that was the the feature so the next step is to merge that uh, that feature branch into checkout if we um, assume that we are done with that so there are many ways to 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 basically merge or or put that that feature code into the develop branch uh, some people like to use the the not fast forward uh, option. So basically, everything uh, in the in the feature branch is 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 grouped in one commit and can be easily reverted. Um, some other people like to to use uh, git rebase, but I'm I'm just gonna keep this simple and I'm, I'm just gonna merge this feature branch here like normally with a git merge, a normal git merge. And we have now the change here in develop. So we can type git push to, uh, we can type this git push origin develop or just git push to put that in the in GitHub. And now if we refresh here, uh, we are in master now, but if we refresh here, we can see the title, the new title here. So at this point, we can we could deploy this develop branch to a dev server, for example, to a dev environment, so other team members can can see the change, and other team members can uh, get pull from from this develop branch this remote develop branch and, and in, include the, those this change into their uh, local develop branch. So we could also just delete that branch because that's basically the, that feature is done. So we can type git uh, branch dash d and the name of, of the branch, which is feature one. 
so that branch is gone. When you have uh, some features ready to be deployed to production, you can create a release branch. Uh, release branches are optional, in my opinion. If you if your project don't use uh, version numbers or any kind of name for a release, uh, the same for tags. If you don't have a, if you, don't, uh, you don't need tags, basically, if you don't have any name for a release. Um, I'm just gonna show you here how to how I usually deploy to production in most of the projects. Basically, uh, I just check on master. Once uh, you have everything in the in the develop branch, for example, in our example, um, what is that? In our example, we have this uh, change in develop. We added a title that is not in master. So what we need to do here is to merge the develop branch into master, so we can get so we can get that change in, in master. So I just gonna merge develop into master here, and once I push that to the to the to GitHub to the remote repo. We should have that change here. Okay. So that's basically how you move things from from develop to master things that, that you are working that you have work on uh, in a, for some time. And that's basically how you release code. Or you can basically do the other process of creating a release branch if you want to. When things go wrong in production, most of the time you can't uh, wait until the next code release to fix a bug. And to fix bugs in production, you can't branch off uh, the develop branch because it could have work in progress features. Uh, instead, you should branch off uh, the master branch. And once you finish the hotfix, it should be merged back to the master branch so it, could, so it can be deployed to production also, uh, to, and also to develop branch. Uh, so the fix can be uh, included in the latest development work. So let's say I have some things in the develop branch. Um, let's add some things here, like another title, title three. Uh, that's just this. So I want to commit this change. Um, update readme. So I have some things now in in my develop branch. And if I want, if I wanted to. Um, deploy something to production and I don't want to include this, then I will have to create a, a hotfix uh, branch. So let's check out master and let's create a new branch of master. Um, let's call this hotfix one. And let's say I, I just want to <clears throat> I will load the file again here because I'm now in, in the master branch. So let's say, okay, I, I just I just don't want this one here. That's the interior the bug. Um, <clears throat> then I will commit this change to the hotfix branch. And um, let's say the, the hotfix is done and is tested and everything. So I need I just need to merge that back into master. And this will be ready to be deployed to production.
So let's refresh here. And we can see we have the title without the number. And the bell have. Oh, I didn't actually push that change. So yeah, now that that's uh, it does in GitHub. So other other team members can basically pull that change. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like or subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.